Hey fellow air gunners, it's Paul2037 here in Mineral, Virginia. I uh, wanted to make a quick video today on something I ran into with my Young Hang high pressure compressor. Uh, these are great little compressors, uh, very, very economical compared to what you can spend out there. Um, and they have come a long ways in the, in the past year or two. Uh, this version comes with a adjustable auto shutoff and uh, some of the other ones, and that was why I didn't buy one before was they didn't have an auto shutoff. And that kind of concerned me. I didn't want to leave something that would just keep running and running um, with the chance of overfilling a tank or a gun. Um, but I do like this one because this one does have an adjustable auto shutoff. So uh, I just got a new tank in, uh, also from China, and I'll just pick this up and show you guys real quick. Um, this is a really nice carbon fiber tank. It's a, it's a test pressure, 450 bar. Its operating pressure is um, 300 bar, and it's rated for 4,500 pounds. And uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful tank. I mean. I think just about any tank you're getting out there is probably made in, in China anyway. I got this on uh, Ally Express, and including shipping and everything else, it was under $200. Now, uh, there are some air gun sites uh, out there. We have some great uh, retailers here in the U.S., but and this tank would have cost me about $700 from a retailer in the US and this com and a similar compressor uh, would have cost me close to $1,200. This was about $400 with shipping and this was $200 with shipping and it included the regulator. Um, so for about 700 bucks for this whole setup as opposed to you know close to $2,000 um, and so far I'm thrilled with it. So back to what I was getting to though uh, the one downside with these things is a lot of it is figuring it out on your own because they do not the directions they come with are terrible uh, they don't tell you a whole lot um, there are some videos out there from some other uh, users um, the reason I'm making this one is because I didn't find uh, what I ran into today in an English video anywhere I did find it in a Chinese video which helped me figure out what happened but basically uh, what I think happened, I don't think in my new tank, I, I don't think that the uh, pressure regulator is super accurate. And I think it got up above 350 bar when I was filling it for the first time. And right around when this thing said it was at 3000 bar, um, this right here, this fitting started leaking. Uh, not a crazy like blowout leak but like pss, just like a constant steady stream of leak and I took this apart and I looked at it and I just couldn't figure out what was going on with it because um, it, it looked like a normal kind of a piece um, similar to to like a plug that you would use um, to uh, pressure test your your line um, but it, it you could tell that there was like something going on with the fitting here and what I basically figured out um, through looking up some eBay, uh, some eBay people who sell these, is that this is what they call an explosion proof fitting. And inside of there is this little teeny tiny disc. Let me see. Yeah, there. So they give you uh, four of these that came with my pump. And if this gets above 350 bar, apparently that disc blows now they also tell you that um they can blow uh sooner than that i guess you know i guess it, it's not a perfect science so um so for whatever reason while filling my tank uh this blew and i was getting a steady leak out of there and it wouldn't stop now i was still able to fill my gun from it but i don't think i could have got this all the way up to my tank up to max pressure with that leak going on so basically what you have to do is you take this fitting out and then um, there is a hole in the top and I just used an Allen key and I put this in the vise and I 
was able to pop the uh, top part off and then you'll see the disc is underneath that and when it blows it actually it will literally blow the the disc either it can blow a hole through it or it mine was just seriously distorted almost like it had been shot in the middle and that then is enough to create the uh, leak that lets this vent if it reaches too much pressure so you just basically put a new disc in there put the put the uh, part that holds it in back in kind of squeeze it together put it back in here with a wrench and just start tightening it down a little bit um, and then what I did is I I pressurized mine I used my um, plug pressurized it and uh, and that was an, and then it, it all stopped and I was good to go again and everything's been working just fine again but so just wanted to show you that if you do run into uh, this leaking right here it's your explosion proof disc and it as far as in the directions that this comes with it's not in there anywhere it doesn't even tell you uh, you know what these are for um, but that's what it's for uh, it's just a safety feature and I ordered I did order some more I found the guy on eBay uh, I was like 24 bucks for I think 50 of them and uh, I'd rather have more too many than not enough just in case that happens again. But that's it. And I uh, hope that helps anybody else out there that decides to get a young hang uh, compressor. Should you start getting a leak there, that's the source. And that's how you go about fixing it. Have a great day, everybody.